Hello everyone, welcome back. We're at the Palenque today, which is a public market. Uh, just come out shopping with my wife, so it's a good opportunity to bring the camera. And she's doing the camera work for me today, because I can't hold a selfie stick, film myself in this busy place. Anyway, the Palenque derived from the Spanish who colonised the Philippines in 1542, I think. And they stayed for a couple of hundred years uh, until the Philippines regained control of the country. Um, but they left their mark on the place because most or all of the street names here have a Spanish name and even uh, most Filipino uh, surnames are, are Spanish also. So it's not your stere stereotypical Asian country as a, a Spanish influence um, in the culture and the names. Also, uh, later on, the Americans were based here during uh, the World War because they were closer to Japan, so there's a, a little twist of American influence also in uh, the modernity of things. Uh, it's all embraced and fused together, so you've got Asian, Spanish and American all rolled into one. And I think, personally, not just because I'm married to a Filipina, uh, I think personally that uh, most Filipinos look Spanish to me anyway, they're not your, again, stereotypical Asian looking. Um, yes, I think um, we're going to get on now and walk through the market, do some, my wife's going to do some shopping while I'm uh, going to try out um, an ICM technique, which is intentional camera movement. So I think that will really capture the market lovely. Because um, it's so vibrant, it's, it's noisy, it's busy, it's... Uh, it's got everything really, um, so when, once we're walking through I'm going to be using this technique to try and capture the mood of actually being here and walking through and experiencing uh, all the colours and the riot of noise and the, the passageways and the walkways up and down and there, there's a, a new photo around every corner, everywhere you look up, down, left and right, behind you, in front of you, there's, there's a photograph waiting to be taken. But uh, I just want to do it in an artistic way to put my own stamp on it. Because um, I think, the, as I did previously, the stolen shots, they're okay, but um, I wanted to put my own feeling into the photograph. So hopefully I can show you that today. Let's go. So today I'm going to be using a technique called ICM. Uh, which stands for intentional camera movement. So whilst during a, a relatively short exposure of around a quarter of a second up to about four seconds, so I like to do a bit longer, uh, handheld with a camera, so during the exposure moving the camera around, but there is uh, some degree of control over it. So I've been here before prior to today on a, a couple of occasions. Um, but it was for a commercial assignment and the client specified that they wanted still stolen shots um, frozen in the moment um, to capture the different varieties around the market. So you've got uh, wet fish, fresh meat, uh, haberdashery, home goods, you name it, fruit and veg, all sorts of things that you can get here in clothes. So we're going to go inside uh, where the light is very low, um, which is kind of ideal for ICM because uh, you know you need to keep that exposure level uh, around the quarter of a second mark. As I said earlier, I like to go a bit longer and make it maybe two, three, even four seconds. Um, the, you will see the difference between um, the ICM technique and like a frozen still one capture shot. Um, the Palenque, as I said, I've done before uh, for commercial reasons. I'll put a link in the description down below so you can have a look at those. And then also see the difference in the photograph from today because it's more like um, you capture like a painting effect. So it's more like brush strokes with your camera as you're moving around. As I said earlier, there is a little bit of degree of control that you do need. Um, I'll just show you, walk you through the camera settings. I normally always set the camera to aperture priority anyway, whatever I'm shooting. So for example, if I'm shooting at f8, um, my ISO today is going to be 100. 
um, and that sh the, the low light should give me the camera will shut will set the shutter speed for me whereas in, in the aperture priority mode I'll select my aperture I may have to move them up and down depending on the light and how <coughs> excuse me how long the exposure will be uh, the shutter speed so the camera can set that for me so I don't have to worry about that I'll just need to look for the shots um, yeah so that's go inside and see what we can get also just need to explain quickly as we're walking through uh, this labyrinth this maze of tunnels and walkways and upper levels and lower levels and the riot of the colour and the noisy and busyness of it. I just need to explain that inside because the light is so low I won't need to use any neutral density filters whatsoever, none at all. Now in normal circumstances if I was out in the open daylight during the day um, I would need ND filters, neutral density of at least six stops just to bring the, uh, the shutter speed down to be able to do this technique. But today, um, it looks like I'm not gonna need them even because of the low light. So uh, let's go and see what we can get. Wow, I've just seen this uh, photograph. Uh, there's a street vendor under the stairs here. But um, I'm gonna have to shoot this blind from the hip. Um, using the technique so I'm just going to walk past and fire the shutter and <coughs> fingers crossed it should be a good one with the ITM technique so let's have a look just thought I'd show you this image quickly um, this was just walking by one of the entrances and the white strip on your right um, you can see is, is actually a strip light it's a UV light which I can show you around here uh, that was the view I just come around here, walked past kept walking went like that and then that's the result of the photograph and the settings were again my aperture priority was on I did turn up the ISO actually, so the shutter speed was a bit longer. So it's a little bit lighter here, so we've got the daylight behind us just coming in as you walk through this walkway. So the actual shot was one sixth of a second F18 at ISO 100. So those are the effects that you can get even in a bit of a brighter light without using an ND filter, which is, uh, I would normally use an ND filter. Um, for my ITM work, even indoors. Um, I have done a recent project, Planetarium, which I'll put a link in the description again down below so you can have a look at that. And that involved uh, panning techniques. So I would start here, um, get to this point, fire the shutter so the camera's already moving. And this is all during um, about three, four second exposure, and that was indoors. So if you want to take a look at that, please do. The link is down below. Um, yes. Okay, everyone. Um, we're just going to finish finish up now. Um, we've been walking around for about an hour or so. I'm really pleased with the photographs I managed to capture using the ICM technique, the intentional camera movement. Um, anyone really can do it. It's just that you need to just practice moving your camera around during a fairly long exposure you know anything between one quarter of a second and four seconds I go to I've even done stuff gone to five and six seconds so um, it all depends on the lighting obviously um, one thing I would say though the shorter the shutter speed for example a quarter of a second half a second you do need to move quickly once you press that shutter and framed your composition you will need to move quite quickly the beauty of the longer exposure, i.e. one, two, three seconds or more, um, you can take your time a bit more, a bit more slowly to get more kind of like brush strokes of a paintbrush. So that would be my tip that I tend to go a bit longer than, um, you know, the shorter shutter speed. But anything works really, the short ones are good, the longer ones are good. Um, all depends again as I say on your lighting, if you're indoors, outdoors, 
You will need ND filters to bring the light down and keep the detail in the highlights um, normally, but indoors today I haven't used any. Oh, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, it's a very busy market, and we've been walking around for about an hour uh, or more, and it's getting a bit warm. But I'm really pleased with the photographs, and I hope you like them too. If you do like them and like this video, please give us a thumbs up. That would be great. And also you can subscribe and hit the bell and you'll get notified when the next video is coming out. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.